Hey everybody, welcome back to building a new city. So basically, I almost said building South Lake. Uh, but basically, this is the series to where I'm kind of showing you how to start off a city if you want to know how. Because a lot of people have asked me in my other videos, like, how do you know how to start a city? Where do you start? And so hopefully this series is going to help you guys out if you need it. So basically, today we're going to be going over parking lots and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people, I've joined a lot of people's cities now. This is just my personal opinion, but I've seen a lot of people do it wrong. And it's not necessarily wrong, but it just looks too much. Like There's too much color. So basically, what I like to do is my residential roads, like these ones here, but just like the city roads, the, these are usually black, okay? That, I like to keep the city roads black. But then what I like to do is make the parking lots gray, because then if you also make the parking lots black, I feel like that's way too much black in just one area. Let's go time set zero. So basically that's something I've learned myself is basically because like I said, I feel like there's too much color in one area. So like, for example, I think I have a building ready to paste with world edit here. So let's go paste and there we go. Oh, we need to move it over a little bit more and we'll move it up to about here. Slash slash paste again and do you want to move it over just a little bit more? We might. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make sure we have enough room for everything. Paste again, and we should be good this time. Okay, so we're good. So we have our building here, okay? Now, this building, it's not a big building, but it's a big enough building to where we can, you know, do a lot of stuff with it. So what I like to do is, just like what we did before, I'm going to make the building and the area surrounding the building with our stone. I, I like to usually use, uh, what's the material I'm thinking of? Stone slabs for things like this because I feel like stone slabs look better for, oop, I don't want to paste. Uh, replace, we'll go two with one. Oop, two with one. And that replaces all the grass with the stone here. I am using world edit, so if you are a little bit curious about how I'm doing this so fast. A lot of people also said before we continue, a lot of other people in the first part Basically, like, can you not use World Edit because it kind of goes a little bit too fast? That's kind of the whole point of World Edit right now is I'm not showing you how to make these buildings. I'm not showing you, you know, how to... These aren't tutorials for the buildings like you see around me. This is basically so I can show you how I usually start off a city and things like that. So, I'm sorry if I do move a little bit too fast, but it's just something you guys might have to deal with. I'm sorry. So, basically what we're going to do now is I want to make a parking lot like a, a little bit oh my goodness my words there just failed on me i want to make a parking lot there we go got it out that time around here but one thing i've also seen a lot of people do is they make the parking lot go over the sidewalk i want to keep the sidewalk so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to extend the sidewalk so boop come on there we go slash slash stack we'll go uh we'll go 10. oh slash stack 10. There we go. So this is our sidewalk, and I think this is actually a pretty good amount of space for a parking lot here. So here's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna make this black wool first. So we know how big the parking lot's gonna be. It's gonna be about the same size as the building here. And I'm gonna stop it right about where the sidewalk ends. So if I do set uh, black, which stands for black wool, if you look, doesn't it look like there's way too much black in this one area? And that's something I just never liked. So usually what I do is I'll go set set gray. And there we go. I think the gray looks a little better. It adds more color to your surroundings. But one thing is if you're making a highway, because usually for highways, which we'll get to in a later video, I like to make the highways gray because I feel like gray works better for highways. Which, if we fly all the way, let me sprint and fly. I really need to, if you guys play PC, let me know if there's a fly faster command. Because I feel like I fly really, really slow. So, like, over here is a highway. Again, we'll get to this maybe in the next part. But I like to make my highways gray because I feel like gray looks better for the highway in general. And I feel like it's something that makes it look a little bit more used. Because black is, like, uh, brand new asphalt. Gray is a little bit more run down. Maybe uh, like that's just something I like to think of it as. So if you're having a highway and you're going to have a parking lot next to the highway, well then maybe make your parking lot 
you know, black then because then you're not going to have too much black in the area. You're going to have just like perfectly in between. So we have our parking lot here. Again, it's not a big parking lot, but you know, we have enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect the parking lot here with the very uh, road we have here. And usually what I like to do is make it to where the entrance is five wide. The reason for that is our roads are five wide, like the one lane. So this would work perfectly. Two, three, four, five. And we'll go set, set, or gray. And perfect. So now our entrance is gray. So we're looking great so far. We have, you know, our parking lot laid out besides the actual parking spaces. Now for the actual parking spaces, I like to use either wh or white wool or snow. Now this is basically just based on your personal preference. Like for example, in the crosswalks over here, I know it seems like I'm flying around quite a bit, but this is actually something I like to use uh, for crosswalks. So my crosswalks, I like to use snow because snow stands out a little bit more than the white wool. It's a little bit of a brighter color, but if you don't want the extremely bright color for your parking your parking lots and stuff like that maybe use white wool now again this usually depends a lot on your texture pack that you're using if you are using one but usually I like to use the white wool for actual parking spaces so what we're gonna do is we're just going to clear out the area in a line that's gonna be around five blocks long so one two three four five now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to replace all of this going all the way across the parking lot to white wool set white oh i think i yep there we go now each parking spot should be only three blocks wide now you might be asking why three wide well because the way i look at it is all the cars in minecraft are usually around three blocks wide so if you make your parking spot three blocks wide it's going to end up being perfect so this basically is going to keep extending what we've already done with the first one and you see, you can see the parking lots coming into its final shape, but we're not even halfway done. We still have the other ones to do. And you might be like saying, well, what's the point of making an entire video dedicated to, uh, to parking lots? Well, parking lots are actually something I've seen a lot of people mess up on because they are very simple. But in my opinion, I like using different colors. The way you set them up can be all wrong if you don't do it correctly because it doesn't make any sense. All right, so we have our entrance here. Now, one thing we actually might want to do is move over the entrance into the parking lot, maybe over a little bit more towards the first spaces here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this over about what we need. How many? We'll move it over two blocks. So move two left. There we go. And we'll just go replace oh my goodness i tried typing really fast there but it didn't work replace zero with what is it one what the come on oh i forgot the second slash which is something that's actually very important with world there we go okay now what this is going to do is we want to add more parking spaces now so what we're going to do we're going to take our white wool or your snow whatever one you want to use now what we're going to do is make it start one block away from the entrance here and do the five blocks again so two or that's three four five and what we're going to do is basically just continue the parking spots but now you might be asking yourself where well, this time this one's up against the building so we have this white wall going all the way across how are we going to do that with this one well what you're going to do is actually make this 10 blocks long so one two three four five actually make it 11 because we need one in the middle so now what you're going to do is your middle block is basically going to be your midpoint. So now you're going to have twice the amount oh, of parking spaces here. Now, another thing you might notice is I'm leaving out the ones on the very ends. Now, the reason for this is because we want to make it to where it's kind of realistic to where you can actually drive around in the parking lot. And so what this kind of does, this makes it to where it looks like it's laid out properly. You can actually get it around the parking lot if you need to with your car to find a parking space. And basically we're just doing the exact same thing now. But again, you might see it's going to be doubling up this time. Because basically the ones on the ends that we did originally are meant to be just up against the building. And those are usually some of your handicapped spots. Uh, that's where they would, those would be, which we will cover here in a minute. And let's do the same thing here. 
Do 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 do. And we're almost done. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I think next part we're going to go over the highways because highways are definitely a big part of cities, especially uh, major cities because if you look at any city, they have these huge amounts of one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I need to move this one back one more. Okay. That is something you want to be careful about is just making sure everything's even so you have everything just lined up perfectly. And perfect. So that's got to replace these two spots. So replace zero with gray. Okay, perfect. So now we have even more spots. Now again, these might not look like it's a ton of spots for, you know, how many offices the building actually has. But, you know, it is something. And that's basically what you're looking for. If you do want more spaces, but you don't really want to put any cars in the parking lot, maybe you might want to make the actual parking spaces themselves maybe too wide because you, you can get a couple more in there if you only make it too wide instead of three. Let's go time set zero. And now we're going to add one more thing of parking spots. So what I'm going to do is just to make things a little bit faster for us. I'm just going to copy this. So uh, we'll copy it right about here where I think will be good. So copy and then we'll go rotate 180. Oh, what's wrong? Ah, I always get rotate wrong when I try to spell it fast. Rotate 180 degrees. So all we have to do now is just come all the way over here. So since this one is going to be the last line of parking spots, we're going to have it come all the way across us like the one originally over there. So I'm just going to go paste and voila. Now we have all the parking spaces again. Now this leftover space here, what we could even do is just, we could, you know, continue making this longer if we wanted to, but I think it'd be a little bit too long if we did. Ugh, my, I'm just horrible at typing. There we go. So now we have our parking spot made. Again, it's not very big, but from above it, you know, you can tell it's a parking space. And I definitely think mixing up with the gray and the black definitely makes it a big difference. Because again, if I just do this, we can go replace uh, gray with black. Oh, let's see how it looks from above. So when it changes, See, it looks like it's, there's too much of it. There's way too much black for it. And I feel like when you make it the different color, again, you're adding more color to your map. You're kind of, you know, separating, you know, you can tell exactly what the parking lots are versus the actual roads. They don't clash together. And that's something you're kind of looking for in a city is stuff that doesn't clash too much with all the other things. Uh, so as for parking lots, parking lots are pretty simple. They're basically the same thing, but just different layers stacked on top of each other. Now those are basically, the basically the same design as this here, but again, they're usually a little bit bigger, if not a lot bigger, because they are the size of a main building. And usually what I like to do is connect parking garages to some of the buildings, because especially some of the bigger buildings always have a parking garage close to it, mainly because there's always a lot of people there and you in a city you don't have all the space in the world to just make a whole bunch of these parking lots so a great alternative to that is adding your parking garages you should have in a basic if you have 10 buildings you should have at least maybe two parking lots uh, parking lots are just again a very big uh, very big portion of your city and a lot of cities do have them if you do go look uh, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I do want to cover with, you know, parking lots and stuff like that because it is a really big deal because, again, in my opinion, I've seen a lot of people do it, you know, wrong, but that that's my way of doing things is maybe different than yours. And I'm not saying you're doing completely wrong. I'm just saying this is how I prefer it because I feel like it looks a little bit better. And if you don't like how this looks like a 90 degree angle, you could just make a turn by doing something like replace this oh jacks move we could just make it look like a little bit turn by just adding you know a small little bend here just like that and that does make it look like you can come in from both sides without you know having to do a 90 degree turn um so i think that might be it for this part i mean again we could add a parking lot here there's enough space for one and what i usually do this actually might be another important thing before we go and you might be asking yourself like where do i know to add parking lots and parking garages well usually what i like to do 
is for example these two big buildings here take up a lot of space and as you can see this road here goes all the way across because of this building here so we have more space on the back of these buildings now usually for parking spaces what i do is i see how much room is left from leftover buildings so i could easily build a parking space here and have a couple parking lots they're not going to be huge but they will get the job done they will take care of some of that empty space if you don't want to add like fountains and small grass you know figures stuff like that so i could easily just add a, par a couple parking garages here if i wanted to i mean all i have to do is just go like this and boop and basically what we're going to do is again make sure you keep your sidewalk to around three blocks for people walking even though there's not really going to be people walking so set gray so again a small little parking lot i'll do the exact same thing that i did over with this one but it might be changed a little bit so it might be a little bit longer than wide on this one uh oh also one more thing is i did f forget to go over handicap spots so handicap spots are definitely something you want because that does make it look a little bit more realistic even though it's a small detail now for handicap spots you can't really get that handicap logo in minecraft so what i do is i'll take maybe three spots out of these and i will go replace the gray with blue and that kind of symbolizes the handicap spots because usually handicap logos are blue so i feel like this works perfectly you can definitely tell it's a different parking spot than any other so it's just something small that does get the job done and it does make it look like a handicapped spot. So I will see you guys next part. Let me know in the comments what you want to see, you know, for how to start a city, what kind of things you would want to see. I do know a lot of people were asking for, you know, ideas for buildings like these and stuff like that. Now, this series is not for, you know, building skyscrapers and stuff like that. I mean, I can do tutorials on those. But this series is more for doing your layout and knowing where to put those buildings and how much space you have to make those buildings and stuff like that. So I will do skyscraper tutorials in the future, but mainly this series will just be focusing on how to make your layouts and some of your basics for the city without actually giving you a tutorial for the buildings themselves. So I kind of hope that clears things up. Again, let me know in the comments what you want to see me build and like what you would want to see for this series because there are tons of things that we can go into in greater detail if I need to and we can even touch up on different things again if we need to as well so bye bye guys thank you for watching it is greatly appreciated and next part like I said earlier we will probably start working on highways maybe even get into some of the bridges and stuff like that so bye bye guys and thank you very much for watching now I finally have this building up and ready to go so what we're gonna do next we're going to make a road going around the building. So here's what I was talking about earlier, if you're trying to start a city. The reason we made a road first is because we know where we want the building to go, 